And welcome back. It's now 7 minutes past 7 a.m. Welcome to the program. This is People and Politics on KBC Channel 1. The show now right now is Good Morning Kenya. All right. Before we get into the discussion, let me just introduce my guest are in studio already. I have got Abdul Harukori, who is member of Mandera South constituency. Mwishmiya, welcome to the program. Thank you. Karibu sana. <coughs> and Francis Mongangi, who is the deputy governor of Machakos County. Um, I say that uh, for us, what Nairobi to Kichafua Maji, Mwishmiya, what Machakos and Pati Maji, the other side. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Tuna pato lagine ki wachafu. Yes. But then uh, it is a cycle. Uh -huh. Mnachafua. Uh -huh. We grow food, we bring, bring it it, we bring it back to you. So you gain more than us? Uh, no, no, no. Uh -huh. A loss, loss is situation. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I asked Mishimiwa Haro, how is Kenya doing? Uh, Kenya is doing fine. Right. <laughs> Kenya is doing fine. Mm -hmm. I think um, challenges are part of life. Mm. And life would be boring if there, was, there were no challenges. Yes. And every challenge is an opportunity for us to learn okay. and improve. Mm -hmm. So Kenya is doing fine. Kenya is doing fine. Yes. All right. Let me take you through the front page of the Daily Nation very quickly before we get into it. On the front page of the Daily Nation, forced NYS style drill for students. Forced NYS style drill for students. There is a mandatory three months community service after senior school as well as nine months upon completing university and college that will be required of graduates before securing employment if education reforms by a presidential task force are implemented. That is on the front page of the Daily Nation. And it says that uh, in the 80s, students underwent pre-university national youth service training. On the front page, Raila Ruto rule out power sharing ahead of crucial talks. Ruto, Raila rule out power sharing ahead of crucial talks. President William Ruto sustains the onslaught on the opposition, declaring his government will speedily conclude negotiations with rivals so long as power sharing is, on, is not on the table. National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Shungo also insists on talks open to public at the Bomas of Kenya. That will begin tomorrow. Gentlemen, let me start with the Daily Nation. First NYS style drill for students, perhaps taking us back to the 80s. DJ, what do you make of this? I think uh, it, is a good, it is a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, sense of nationhood, yes. sense of citizenry, and, uh, and, 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 and uh, culture of selflessness. Mm. I think uh, that used to be there. We know the countries that, that have uh, done the same. Mm. Uh, and uh, if you look at the background of uh, NYS, mm. actually that was the intention. And uh, I, think, I think even today, look at uh, some, some, some jobs, like uh, even drivers. Most, yeah. of the, most of the organizations, if you go and uh, at least you are a driver, mm. but you have a background in NYS, you are likely to... There's some sense of job. discipline that yes, coupled yes, with yes, it. Yes, mm. yes, 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 yes. It is, it is something that, I, in my view, it is uh, over, uh, over, over, overdue. Mm. But the issue of after university, I think it should be before. I think it should be before. Before, um, before, what, before what, you get like, out of campus? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Even before joining the university, I think you should do it once. You do it once at NYS, mm -hmm. but once you continue with your studies at higher level, you continue and you go to uh, job market. Yeah. Yes. So it has to be part of the curriculum when you're in campus. Yes. Like, okay. uh, like it happens in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the where uh, NYS originated. Mm -hmm. Although the environment there is different, Different is hostile in nature. Mm. Uh, almost every citizen is required by law is required uh, to, to, to to go through uh, military paramilitary training, yeah. and that is uh, in a country like uh, like uh, like uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. But when you China. look at Israel and where it is situated. Uh, maybe their reasons could be different. Mm -hmm. But why I'm saying, uh, giving that example is today's uh, CEOs mm -hmm. around the world who, who have excelled uh, very well, who have moved uh, organizations from dying to prosperity, mm -hmm. uh, 
when you look at uh, their background, yes. uh, normally it has a discipline in parliamentary training. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mwashimu Ahore, I, I believe way back in the 80s, this, this, this it was a norm. Uh, but times have changed. I mean, you go through the university four or five years doing medicine or whatever you and then you have a mandatory um, of course this part of the proposal in the presidential uh, working uh, 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 committee but how would it change the sense of discipline i mean discipline should start from home not in school yeah <clears throat> thank you very much and actually yeah i agree with you discipline starts from home but if you look at the the proposal and 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 what it is t intended to do mm -hmm. It is part of the continuation of that discipline that starts from home. And then at the, you see, once a student has gone to the university, yes. there's that sense that that student is a grown up uh -huh. and, and they are now very much independent from, you know, uh, home and, 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 and what have you. And, mm. and, and they meet, for example, uh, the way our education system is, mm -hmm. is designed. Uh, when you go to the university, uh, you don't meet for example, students from your home village, like perhaps you would do when you are in high school, yeah. you would meet students from all parts of, of the country. And, and, and you know that cross-pollination of you know, ideas and mm -hmm. energies and, and, and what have you. Uh, it is very, very important for the continuation of that discipline. You don't mm -hmm. leave it just for parents or homes. But I'm just wondering how it's going to be entrenched in, in the current society because 80s up to, up to now, <laughs> changing that kind of mindset for people to go for the military, the paramilitary military training. I'm, I'm just imagining you know, how it's going to change the mindset. You know, the 80s generation, yes. they, they are now not the target. The, the, the current generation is, is the target because what you, we build on now would actually inform the generation that is coming. Uh, as, as, as you know, we have a very huge bulging youth population in this country. Mm -hmm. and, and that situation, I don't think, is going to change in, 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 the, in the near future. Mm -hmm. So what we are building is for the future, for posterity, mm -hmm. you know, so that this culture, even though it was abandoned after the 80s, uh, the presidential working party, mm -hmm. you know, and, and most of them are educationists and, and key stakeholders in, in the education sector in this country, mm -hmm. they did an analysis and they realized this concept that we abandoned in the 80s it's a very useful concept. It can still work. And, and, and can still work. And yeah. although it cannot, you know, you cannot teach all dog tricks. You cannot, you know, uh, you know uh, target those ones who are not in the system from 1980s mm -hmm. to now. Mm -hmm. But for the youth who are now in the university, yeah. going forward, it's a culture we can build, uh, we, can, we, can, we can initiate again and build on it. And, and I think the intention is good and the results will be, mm. will be perfect. All right. Okay. Very quickly, on the front page of the Standard newspaper, Ruto maintains tough conditions ahead of talks. Ruto maintains tough talks ahead of talks. President yesterday said that he is ready for dialogue with the, the opposition, but he won't be blackmailed using violence and that power sharing is of uh, the table as his henchmen also ruled out talks on cost of living. Hard stands there. Uh, of course, Raila Odinga also over the weekend said that he's not interested on, um, uh, of power sharing. Let me just quote what he said. Opposition leader Raila Odinga has stated that he's not interested in a deal to join government. He has branded, quote-unquote, illegitimate and unpopular, but insisted that the ruling coalition should not dictate the issues for discussion. His team has listed high cost of living and an audit of the last year's presidential election as part of their grievances. Here, two gentlemen going to the table but with their headlines. DG, what do you make of this? First and foremost, uh, oh, 10 months ago, mm -hmm. uh, the country went to an election. Um, there was a process until the government that is there now came to be. Mm. Uh, there was even a court process. Uh, there is that uh, sense of legitimacy, mm -hmm. sense of ownership, mm -hmm. sense of entitlement in terms of uh, I was elected mm -hmm. to lead. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, um, we have also um, the, another coalition that almost 
because this election was almost to a call. Yes. Uh, the difference was only 200,000. Mm -hmm. That is not a small margin, uh, but it is a small uh, nationally. Yeah. Uh, they also have their own taking. They, 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 they are feeling that uh, the country could be heading in the, in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. They have also the following. Mm. They almost control half of the country. So in this kind of uh, scenario, uh, I, what I would propose is uh, I've seen uh, some ad, uh, what I would call ad line positions. Yeah. Uh, I think it is uh, we have a country to, to, to look into and, 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 and uh, uh, they are good and they are mm. bad because if you go there, you go with your underlying position, you get your way, mm -hmm. you win. Mm -hmm. If you go there, all of the two sides have uh, the liners yes. and they don't uh, agree, then uh, we go back to where we are coming from, mm -hmm. which is also a danger to the stability of the country. Yes, remember we also have the first talk that collapsed. Yes. So in this case, I think, I think, I think um, uh, it is upon the principles yes. now to, to, to maybe call their troops to order mm -hmm. and uh, maybe tell them go to negotiations in when you are negotiating mm -hmm. it is a question of give and take and they say you, you lose clean hands. and you gain yeah mm -hmm. it is not a question you go and you must win that does not happen in, in, in negotiations mm. but in this situation so, who, who now dictates the agenda uh, because both both sides have their own agenda uh, you that that question takes me back to why negotiations okay where are we coming from why are the two parties agreeing? Let's sit, mm -hmm. let's talk, without anybody, 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 anybody forcing them. Mm -hmm. So in this case, there are, there are issues, and we have seen the two sides have their own list of issues. Yes. When they meet, I'm sure these uh, these uh, the two sides will manage and agree. These are now the issues on the table. Let's discuss. Let's come okay. up with solutions uh, that are going to be beneficial mm -hmm. to the country. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. In addition, I think uh, first of all, let me say. <coughs> What, what you hear politicians say in public and, and what you saw, what they will say when they are on the discussion table mm. are two different things. Uh, for example, before these bipartisan talks, mm. after the first bipartisan talks failed, yes. nobody in this country thought Raila and Ruto would meet behind the scenes mm -hmm. and agree to, to have another bipartisan talks mm -hmm. from the rhetorics that were but that were on the on the on the public uh, public arena. Mm. So uh, I come from a background of, of peace building and and, and reconciliation. Mm. Uh, and and I and I can assure you, uh, the things, the bravado, the chest thumping that is happening out there in the public is meant for a different audience for different reasons. But the fact that the two parties have formed a, a team mm. to have a discussion face to face. And, and they have set up the issues, you know, uh, to haggle around and agree which mm -hmm. issues do we prioritize, which issues do we agree to, to discuss, and which issues we don't agree to discuss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then definitely, I can assure you, uh, we, we don't need to read too much into what Raila says in public and what President Ruto has said in public. But the 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 the, the, the pudding, what what do they say? The the, the 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 sweetness of the food is in the pudding. Yeah. Once the bipartisan talks sit down and discuss, uh, already people feel they are they are they are members of the bipartisan talks. Who are and, very and what makes you feel that this time around is going to be different? Because the first one failed completely. We didn't even see. Um, some of clear resolutions that came out, uh -huh, uh -huh. it collapsed completely. Uh, I have a, I ha my friend, I have a lot of hope <coughs> in this country. Mm. And, and this country is, is, has been very resilient. We, Kenya has proved the world uh, wrong many times. Yeah. When, when, when the whole world has thought that Kenya is on the precipice mm -hmm. and, and it's going to collapse, we've come out of the dust and, and done things that have surprised the world. Mm. And I can assure you that resilience and that uh, you know, belief in peace by, by Kenyans. And the fact that uh, we've come a long journey since election, it's yes. almost a year now, mm -hmm. and, and, and we, we have been you know, struggling with issues from election time to this date. And, and, and a lot of realization is sinking in on many Kenyans. You know, there's, there's the runaway cost of living. How mm -hmm. do we bring it down? Because mm -hmm. that's a matter, I think, 
regardless of what style each party is thinking of how to handle it, yeah. everybody is concerned about it. Yes. And, 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 and therefore those issues and the fact that we have come a whole year after election and we are where we are will humble many of us to think very critically mm. for Kenya, not for, for, for self. Okay. A quick one. And finally, on the, unless you want to add something, which word did you? Uh, yes. You know, um, the, the, the after the collapse mm -hmm. of the first, uh, was it the first or second uh, round of talks, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, they say this country is strategically placed. Uh, the international community views Kenya different from what Kenyans, uh, they themselves mm -hmm. feel, uh, feel their own country. Mm -hmm. um, this is the gateway to East Africa. This is the gateway to Great Lakes mm -hmm. uh, countries. Mm -hmm. um, Kenya is perceived to be the only country that is uh, relatively stable compared to the rest of the nations around. Right. Now, uh, uh, we could uh, speculate a lot of things, but one thing I know for sure, one thing I know, mm -hmm. somebody somewhere uh, above and out of this country might have played uh, a certain role mm. to ensure the two leaders, the two coalitions are brought back to the, uh, to the negotiating table. Mm. Because in the absence of that, uh, then uh, Kenya being important as it is, mm -hmm. and I'm saying this from experience, uh, I've attended serious uh, forums just like many Kenyan leaders mm. out there. Uh, Kenya is highly rated because of its long time stability. Yeah. So, going, uh, allowing Kenya to have instability mm. uh, at this time and age, uh, I think international community is highly concerned. Yeah. And, and, and I think uh, the only option that we have mm -hmm. to protect our country, to promote our country, to promote good image of this country is to ensure we discuss, mm -hmm. we talk, we continue talking, uh, but ensure we don't sacrifice. Uh, democratic principles mm. uh, that dictate that there was a winner, there was another one who was told to mm. wait and try uh, next time. Yes. We need to respect that. Mm. Because in my view, mm. in my view, the economic challenges that we are now is as a result of uh, this, uh, this coalition business. Mm. I think that should not, should not be entertained in okay. Kenya. I assume the two of you gentlemen see part of the panel the president is sitting there and let's just assume that there's a new team also the other side and you're also part of that team some in a corner uh, away from us and public what would you advise them what did you tell them maybe a point or two um one is to put the country's interest first okay in politics yes that is what you say in, in uh, public but in private it is opposite mm -hmm. I would wish uh, this time for sincerity, for once. Mm. Let's put our country first. Uh, the issue we are seeing in public, mm -hmm. people just dumping, I don't think that is good. Mm. That is necessary for, for, for this country. Mm -hmm. uh, number two is uh, we also respect one another. Mm -hmm. Because when, uh, when as, as, as a national leader, you use a language that is not so much uh, respective, then that is what you are calling the, 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 the your followers to do. Mm. Now, the other side will also reciprocate the same. And their, 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 their supporters will also uh, take the cue. Mm. That is not the way to go. Okay. Yes. Let's take a break. When I come back, I'll okay. give you a minute also no to respond to that. If you're sitting on that table with the two gentlemen, what do you advise them? I mean, at the end of the day, we are all Kenyans. Let's take a break. We'll be right back with uh, Mushimua Abdul Harukore and Deputy Governor Francis Mongagi. Stay with us. Welcome back. Um, Mishimua Harukore, it's your time to tell us. If you're sitting, the president is there, 
Ray Lutinga or any part of Azimio is sitting there, what would you tell the two gentlemen? I think I'll tell the two gentlemen that uh, they were elected, uh, or rather uh, they went into election, mm. and that was is a, is, a, is, a, is a representative democracy. They went into the election mm -hmm. and told Kenyans they will represent their interest and nothing more. And, and it's time now. They, both gentlemen are great Democrats, and both gentlemen are, uh, are you know, are, 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 are uh, seasoned politicians who've, who've been in politics in this country for mm. long. And, and it's, it's time that they now sat down and, and decided to talk on Kenya first and, and very seriously about issues that are affecting Kenyans and, and, and stop thinking about what the... The, the, the voters out there mm. would, would say, because the voters gave them the mandate mm -hmm. to, 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 to act for them, to represent them, and, and do what is good for them. Okay. So I will tell them, remove the veils of, of the parties, uh, especially for the president. He's our president. He's a president of the nation. We, 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 are, we are all his, his, his subjects, so to speak. Uh, and, and, and he needs to look at Kenya and uh, he's, he's, he's doing that right now, but he needs to do that. And, 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 and Raila should also shed the politics around uh, 2027 yeah. and, and, and what the losses that happened. Has he talked about 2027, really? I've, I've he, he has talked about it. Uh, he has talked about it in so many ways. Okay. Uh, not necessarily directly that. Uh, Coined. Yeah, Coined. Yeah, okay. yeah. So he needs to forget about the, the politics in 2027. Not forget, really, but he, he should not consider the politics 2027 as we have mm. to deal with these issues now. Okay. Yes. All right. And finally, Ruto moves to tighten grid, <coughs> grip on Mount Kenya Top. That is on the front page of the Star newspaper. Uhuru's influence appears to have crumbled with allies decamping to Kenya Kwanzaa. And now Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa has declared president the official leader of Mount Kenya region. That is on the front page of the Star newspaper. And of the president is still in the mountain for an official tour, five days. And um, that is on that. So, Deputy Governor, let me quote you saying a few days ago, Kenyans need inclusivity in Ruto's government. That's according to you. And you said that inclusivity can be achieved when constitution is followed to the latter. No communities, communities should be left out due to their political affiliations or convictions. And finally, you said that uh, the leadership should start strategizing on how to win the 2027 election as early as now. Let me start with the issue of inclusivity. Part of the agenda of uh, Azimio as they head to the talks. Some signs that it might start tomorrow. What's your take on this? Inclusivity, according to the dictates of our constitution, um, they mean uh, any national appointments should reflect the face of the country. Mm -hmm. At the county level, any appointments mm -hmm. should reflect the face of that particular county. Uh, now, uh, I, my statement uh, had also another meaning. Uh, that whenever, for example, we are doing development mm -hmm. at county level, let not concentrate where the deputy governor or the governor or the minister or the chief officer comes mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. Let's ensure fairness in distribution of projects. At national level, let's not do a uh, hundred million water project in Wasingishu and we do in Mandela a one billion project. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. Let's see fairness in all the distribution of the national cake so that we can grow, uh, grow this cake uh, to fit each and every Kenyan. So in this case, uh, all these things are in our constitution. Yes. And, 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 and uh, the third meaning that I had in mind was, and by the way, I was speaking uh, in presence of the president. Mm. It's not like I was uh, speaking uh, somewhere else different. Uh, the president came to open uh, uh, the first of its kind 
uh, Open uh, University of Kenya, mm. which is uh, headquartered at uh, Konza Techno yes. City. And that's where the, such sentiments were coming from. The, the third meaning was uh, was uh, was that uh, we need to ensure nobody, no Kenyan. Uh, feels that the government in, in place is not uh, my government. Mm. We should feel, uh, because uh, the president of the republic is the father of the nation, mm. is the mother of the nation, mm. is our father, is the father of everybody, including uh, those uh, opposing him. Yes. So in this case, it is, uh, it is upon uh, the government to ensure the constitution mm -hmm. is followed mm -hmm. and followed uh, fairly. Not uh, sometimes we do this, and if it is done elsewhere, the reaction is different. So that fairness is what mm. I was advocating for. Um, I'm, 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 I'm also trying to look <coughs> at it differently. When you talk about inclusivity, the, the president has already formed his government with appointments already done, and the government is moving. Mishima Hori, what would you read from that statement, inclusivity? Um, Azimio, that is part of the agenda. I think inclusivity, uh, regardless of whose agenda it is, is a very important uh, national discourse yes. in this country. Uh, and, 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 and it has been at the center of all the debates we have had in this country, including the clamor for the new constitution in, mm. in 2010, uh, because of the way things have happened in this country since independence and, and some regions uh, being very much ahead of mm. other regions and other regions being left behind for, 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 for some time. And that's why the constitution has also addressed the question of inclusivity specifically. It's even gone ahead and, and, and defined yes. what marginalization is in, in, in some sense uh -huh. because of the question around, around inclusivity. So inclusivity is an, important, is an important issue and we should not just look at it from the appointments the way the DG has said mm -hmm. it is we should look at it holistically not just from you know from from appointments in government but including the national cake and how the national cake is is distributed to to mm. to, to, to all the regions mm. we are yet to 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 what I what I what I mean is we are inclusivity in the in the sense of Kenya is not as flattering as it should be there are still many, 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 many needs in many of these regions which are unaddressed, which uh, require uh, inclusivity to, 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 to touch mm. every part, mm. every part, every part of this country. So there should be inclusivity in resource distribution. Yeah. There should be inclusivity even in the dialogue we are having. Mm -hmm. There should be inclusivity in the appointments, not just in the national government, mm. at the national government level, even at the county level and 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 under and, and, and the grassroots. Yeah. So inclusivity should be at the heart of the discussions that, mm. that we should have. I'm, I'm quite interested, uh, DJ, because when you spoke about this in front of the president, you also dismissed claims by a section politicians that as a mere leadership is pushing for a stake in President William Ruto's administration. Now, days later, on the front page again of the Daily Nation, the president says that Ruto and Raila rule out power sharing ahead of crucial talks. Are you a fortune teller? <laughs> Were you seeing something that the two gentlemen are now saying, no, we don't need handshake? One, the Azimio coalition, yes. where I belong, uh, have bent a statement. The, the Azimio leader, Raila Odinga, has said he does not uh, want any piece but of how government. serious is this statement now um uh he, and he has not said it once twice or that yes. he has always in every fora in all our leaders have been very clear on uh, on uh, on uh, on uh, on uh, their attack as mm. far as uh, the kenya Kwanzaa administration is concerned mm -hmm. so i think i think personally uh um when I say Kenya does not need another Nusmukate, another Andijek or Adijek, whichever way you look at it, is because of where it has taken us. And by the way, mm -hmm. let me make it very clear. Uh, agitation, picketing, mm -hmm. demonstrating is not a bad thing. And by the way, I also heard something else. Conflicts are not bad. We are it not for conflict. Mm -hmm. This country could not be independent. Were it not for conflict, 2010 constitution could not be there. Were it not for conflict, maybe we could not where we we could not be where we are. Mm -hmm. But what we are saying, we have come over the edge, 
and we are now exercising democracy. We should allow it to grow, we should allow it to thrive in a peaceful manner following the constitution. If we are to, for example, to demonstrate, mm. and if these demonstrations, not necessarily even uh, as mio mm. led uh, demonstrations, mm -hmm. anybody, even uh, th those who elected Mwashmiwa, mm -hmm. can feel uh, maybe there's something he is not doing right. They have right to also tell him uh, through demonstrations. We are saying, let them be peaceful. Yes. Let them be orderly. So that at the end of the day, you can be listened. Mm. Look, in France, they did a lot of demonstrations, which took months. Israel, the same. Uh, U.S., they do it on a daily basis. In, front of in, White fact, House. in fact, in fact, yeah. I was surprised. We we went there, and I thought uh, I thought uh, we were we were in the they are foreign uh, what they call <laughs> State Department. Mm -hmm. And as we were meeting up there, the 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 the, 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 the <laughs> at the Secretary's press, mm -hmm. uh, office down there, people were <laughs> demonstrating but again. Their level so of opposition is quite here, ours. here yeah. you try to do that. You are tear gassed. You are done a lot of things. You are arrested. So I think somehow, as a country, we need uh, we need to maybe learn a, learn a lot, mm. uh, be tolerant of each other, and and, and, and uh, move forward. This this if by the way Kenyans, if they are not watchful, mm. an administration will come in, loot this country, mismanage this country, uh, leave this country and a lot of debts, and they go away. Mm. And that explains, by the way it explains, and this is a research we have done, mm -hmm. uh, that it is only majority of Kenyans, indigenous, uh, who have too much wealth in this country, are in one way or the other being either in top leadership or are working with those top in the leadership. Mm -hmm. It explains. Mm -hmm. So for us to do away with this, we need to expand uh, the participation of Kenyans. Mm -hmm. We need to ensure as many Kenyans as possible mm -hmm. are engaged. And to be engaged is to be aware, to know, to participate, to ensure whatever the country is implementing, yeah. whatever the administration, whether at county level or at national level, mm -hmm. Kenyans have a say. Kenyans have a say. Yes. Mr. Mahore, what do you say? I think we don't need uh, demonstration in this country anymore. I mean, that would mean that we follow the constitution and put it under the table? No, we don't follow the constitution, uh, especially in the context we are now. Okay. The kind of demonstrations we have seen, we don't need it. We've come from a very difficult period, uh, the corona impact and, and, and what have you, mm. what's happening globally, you know, in Ukraine and mm -hmm. what have you, and the impact it is having on, on our economies. And, and the type of demonstrations we're having in this country are different from, for example, the demonstrations we have de 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 described up, up, mm. up there. Uh, right now, we have a very huge population of poor Kenyans who are struggling to come out of. And, and, and when you have demonstrations, for example, in Nairobi, it, it basically means you shut down businesses, you shut mm. down so many things for fear of those people who are spoilers and who are, who are, who are looting. So I think uh, Kenyans should sit down and talk, and, yeah. and serious talks through the bipartisan talks which are already uh, going to start on Wednesday. And we need to agree on, on pertinent issues that are affecting Kenyans and how to go forward mm. on, on them. But uh, while demonstrations are necessary, they are constitutionally provided, but mm. in the context we are now, and, and the way our economy is doing and the difficulties Kenyans are going through, I, I don't think it's the right time to have the kind of demonstrations we're having, we're having mm. right now. And, and again, on the question of uh, Nusu Mukate, with the experience we've had uh, in the past with, yeah. with Nusu Mukate, I think uh, I, I agree when, when, when you say, when, when leaders say we don't want Nusu Mukate, whether they mean it, mm -hmm. I think at the end of it, everybody knows if you have a discussion, the way we're having a discussion, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the question of inclusivity is part of the agenda, mm -hmm. then definitely somebody says, where do I sit now after this? Th that, piece, is, that, is, piece, that is my biggest piece question. Piece we have agreed. So <laughs> from whichever source it's come from, <laughs> yeah. um, DG, which also, you also quoted here, you also said it right in front of the president over the weekend. I mean, the way he's putting it, some, some, ways, or some people to be given some positions, either internationally or locally. Ah, uh, one. Uh, <clears throat> 
I urge Moshmoa to kindly listen to me. He seems to be getting uh, what he wants to get mm. from me. Mm. And he ends up in his <laughs> discussion repeating exactly what I've said. Mm. Now, what I'm saying is uh, uh, whether they are given international jobs mm. or uh, otherwise, like uh, like uh, we did in uh, Andishek yes. uh, time. You remember something was secured somewhere through the government. Um, th that is not here nor there. Why am I saying this? As long as what Azmio asks, as long as what the Kenya Kwanzaa administration is, go, is having currently and mm. is implementing, if they can be matched and it brings drastically the cost of living, I think that is the biggest concern of Kenyans. Mm -hmm. uh, what personally I'm against, and I think uh, many Kenyans uh, will agree with me, considering what this has brought to this country, mm -hmm. I think it is a, a direction that these negotiations should not lead to another major coalition uh, uh, thing. Let Kenya Kwanzaa continue and let us me now focus on uh, alternatives yes. of what Kenya Kwanzaa right. are doing with a clear ahead of, with clear demarcation okay. and the focus on the future elections. Because we want if Kenya Kwanzaa are doing this, mm. I would urge my coalition, we sit down, we come up with a more better alternative. Mm. And tell Kenyans, these ones, they are doing one, two, three. Mm -hmm. How else we are proposing this? And ahead of the next election, which is not far away, by mm. the way. We did the election the other day. Now one it's is, almost a year over. One year is over. Okay, we, yes. one year is over. Uh -huh. the, 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 so in this case, the, I think that kind of constructive uh, <coughs> criticism constructive engagement mm. is what maybe we might uh, we might uh, we might uh, we might require as a country in my view i think i agree mm. with the honorable member that currently the kind of uh, destructive um, the demonstrations we have seen uh, across this country we might we don't need them mm. now mm -hmm. But my statement is very clear that uh, in advanced societies uh, where countries practice democracy, mm -hmm. um, the picketing, demonstrations, peaceful ones, mm -hmm. orderly ones, mm -hmm. um, are order of the day okay. because of different reasons. Yes. Yes. You know, people can even, uh, it is not uh, necessarily we demonstrate against leaders. Yes. We can also demonstrate against policies that we feel they are oppressive. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if Kenyans were aware of 1965 policy that ensured where uh, government is collecting more taxes, mm -hmm. they put more into that particular region. If people knew then, uh, that was a, a way of uh, dividing this country. Mm -hmm. This was a way of alienating parts of this country. People should have demonstrated then, yes. and against that kind of policy. Mm -hmm. And uh, such a policy is not bad. So in this case, uh, such a policy is bad for the country. Mm -hmm. So. People can demonstrate to have it changed. So what I'm saying is, uh, peaceful <coughs> picketing, peaceful demonstrations are not bad at all. Mm. Yes. We just have to get it. But yes, <coughs> we are 13 years after the promulgation of the new constitution, which again, if you look at it, we've made some amazing strides as a nation. Uh, I mean, nations copy pasters, benchmarking on our constitution, some of the tenets of the constitution as it is. But why do you think the constitution itself has not cured some of these things that you are uh, facing currently? The de demonstration, um, <clears throat> the winner takes it all. You know, it was supposed to cure that. Uh, either the parliamentary way or the presidential system. But why has it not cured some of these things? Why has the constitution not stopped us 
from going to the trenches on some of these clauses mm -hmm. they are in? I think, thank you. That's a good question. Uh, qu the, the Constitution, we have, a, 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 as you've rightly put it, yeah, quite we, progressive. we have a very progressive Constitution, mm. a very good Constitution. The only problem with our Constitution, as it has always been from the word go, mm. has been implementation. Those people mandated to do the implementation of different components of that Constitution mm -hmm. have always failed us. And, and I think it's, it's, a, it's time we did a lot of, I don't even want to call it awareness, but mm. we need to, you know, years re remind line. each other <laughs> very, very carefully that uh, this constitution requires yeah. implementation. And then the nature of our politics, you know, uh, it, it looks like we have uh, an electoral cycle which uh, once we have come out of election, the campaigns for the next election mm. begins. And then a lot of good things that are, would have been done by those who are in power are drawn in those noises and, 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 and what have you. Because once the opposition have ratcheted mm. the, the, the politics for, for the next election, uh, the government in power is also forced into, like for example, see from the visit the president is doing in, in central Kenya. Mm. Uh, if you ask me, uh, now that the, the Azimio have been on the streets demonstrating, uh, it's another form of politicking for 2027 because the issues they are raising in, in those demonstrations. Yeah. Uh, you know, the president now is, is addressing those issues out there. Yes. <laughs> you see? Yeah. And, and this, uh, this is the kind of <coughs> politics we, we, we have in this country, yeah. which, which, which definitely is making the, 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 the good uh, parts of the, constitutions, uh, the, constitution, the Constitution suffer. Yeah. But we have a very good Constitution. We just need a proper implementation of, of, of that Constitution. And we need our systems, our, 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 our systems, our, 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 what do I call it, uh, the, the systems that have been put in place to implement the constitution mm. and, and, and safeguard some of the rights in the constitutions, whether it's inclusivity, whether it's dealing with the issues of marginalization, whether it's dealing with the issues of national cohesion. We have very good uh, national values mm. in that constitution. The, the, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have very good regulations in there that guide politicians and those in the executive to yeah. behave the, the way they are supposed to behave. But we are not behaving, you know. The question of corruption, the question of, you know, uh, favoritism, the question of uh, uh, non-inclusive, uh, you mm -hmm. know, uh, looking at issues. So all of these issues actually are the ones which are making our constitution not uh, address some of to the issues we're, some we're, we're, we're addressing. Yeah. And, and, and some people still feel, you know, when, when, when you're talking about constitution and, and then uh, you, 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 you put an individual at the center stage. For example, when, when we started clamoring for constitution and when we, we went into the multi-party democracy, when, when we, we did the first elections, people thought, you know, when we were saying, Yote, I was a kind of Bila Moy, you know, we thought once Moy goes, Life will be rosy for Kenyans. All our problems are resolved. All our problems will be. So we thought by concentrating all our thoughts and efforts on an individual and, and his policy, all our problems will go away. And, and although we have enacted the constitution, mm. still the nature of our political psyche is that uh, we, we individualize issues and agendas. That's why you'll see Raila attracting so many people, you mm. know, when, when, when he's, uh, he's driving his, 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 his whatever. And then when the president comes out, you can see when he was in the central, mm. the love for that man is, 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 is crazy. Mm. And, 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 you know, we, we need to stop, you know, equating an individual to a constitution. And, and, and look at the constitution and the, the institutions and the tenets within that constitution and what needs to be done as, as a country. Instead of, you know, uh, like, like it was said back then, Kama Baba Mesoma, Kila Kitu Ikosawa. I'm quite interested because did you, when you look at even the separation of powers, the county governments have a clear distinction, their roles, away from the national executive, national government. And that's that. But as you speak, there is no clear, some would argue that now who is ruling? We have the government in power and the opposition. And as you also answer to that, the constitution was supposed to cure that, that there's a clear demarcation and a clear pathway between the opposition and the national gov the, the ruling government. In this case, it's now the, major, the minority side. But why has it not cured that? Maybe, you know, this is Africa. Kenya is a developing country. Uh -huh. Now, 
We went somewhere in South Africa. We went somewhere in the uh, United States of America, mm -hmm. which is practicing federalism. Mm -hmm. uh, go to their constitution and uh, a little bit of South Africa, and then we merged them together. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is what uh, came of the 2010 constitution. Now, uh, establishment of the county governments. Um, the, 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 the Kenya, first and before I go to county governments, mm. Kenya remains a unitary state with a president and the deputy president mm -hmm. at the top. Executive remains, national parliament, both Senate and National Assembly remains, mm -hmm. legislature that is, mm. and we have the judiciary. When you go lower at the county level, you have only executive and the regional assembly, mm. uh, the county assembly. Now, uh, that being the case, you look at the mandates. The mandates is what uh, separates the two, the two levels of government. Mm. Now, the mandate should also apply to the minority or the opposition to the, and, and the, the ruling coalition. Yes, 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 both at national level and at county level. Yes, yes. But you know, at the national level, you have two chambers of, uh, of, uh, of, 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 of uh, the assembly. Mm -hmm. You have the Senate and you have the national assembly. At the county level, you just have one uh, county assembly mm -hmm. but with the minority and the majority. Now, in this case, First and foremost, you talked of implementation of the 2010 constitution. Mm. Truly, it has been implemented. Um, uh, actually, over three quarter of the constitution has, has, has been implemented. Mm -hmm. But uh, there has been some uh, losses here and there. I'm sure if there will be later in our discussion, there is a question of devolution. Mm -hmm. I will uh, arm it so well, mm -hmm. uh, what I'm about to say. You know, implementing devolution vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the national government. Mm. I think naturally, when you talk of change, you expect to resist us. And that is what uh, has been tempting yeah. the national government. Yes. And I will uh, explain how. It is true, Kenya now is practicing devolution. Mm. We have counties and we have national government. But national government has uh, devolved functions mm -hmm. and a lot of funds have, has remained at the central government. Like I will give an example. Mm. Look at the following ministries and look at uh, what has gone to, 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 to the counties. Yes. Look at the Minister of Agriculture. Look at the Minister of, uh, of, 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 of Water and Irrigation. Mm. Look at the Ministry of Health. These ministries and even the Minister of uh, Roads, mm. uh, Transport. Um, all these ministries, their budget is uh, almost double what is going to counties. Mm. Yet those functions were devolved. Uh, part of uh, Minister of Roads is uh, with the, uh, all the, the highways. Yes. The highways are with the national the government. National government right. But uh, when you look at uh, the Kera roads, almost all of them, yeah. over 90 percent, are with the counties. Yet the budget is still with the national government. Okay. So th this temptation to hold at the centre is what is uh, maybe is making this country not mm. to prosper the way it should, not to grow as it is, it is expected. Mm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because when you have a centralised resources, mm. talk of water, you tell the Minister of Water, please now, the <coughs> table to Kenyans, where you have done projects mm. and for how much, mm -hmm. you'll find uh, most likely those well-connected regions. Not everywhere in this country. Yes. But if you devolve these resources, no matter how small the water projects will be, mm -hmm. it will be almost every part of mm -hmm. this country. And okay. that is how you grow mm -hmm. the country. Let, let, me, let me get this from uh, Weshimua Hori. I mean, <coughs> um, as we wind up, I'm also time, running out of time. Why now it's gone? I mean... Oh my <laughs> <laughs> um, when you look at devolution, and the, the deputy governor is here, one year down the line, or ten years after the constitution, maybe quickly, are we getting it right in terms of devolution? Way back in Mandera, the fruits. Yeah, of course, uh, we, we're getting it right. 
I, 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 I am a very positive uh, Kenyan. Mm. We're getting it right uh, because if you look at the, the intention was to reduce executive power, the intention was to guarantee some certain rights to minorities and marginalized groups and, mm. and also to devolve some authority to the most of these things have, have happened. But the way the DG put it correctly, we also have some, 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 some misses. Yes. The biggest problem with devolution is corruption. Because the, the runaway corruption that we were crying about at the mm. national level, mm. you know, when we were in Mandela before the revolution, you were telling our uh, people, you know, when they cry about lack of roads, lack of water, lack of, lack of schools, lack of what, mm -hmm. we were telling them, you know, the money is being stolen at the national level there, you know, mm. and, and when you are from the region where I come from, Tunasema, Uko Kenya, and your pesas in But okay. now, that corruption has been devolved to the counties mm. and, and, and a lot of you know bad things mm. have happened in terms of corruption in uh, devolved in the in the in the, in the counties mm. but the little that has gone directly to the people yes has been life 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 changing okay. like in Manera for example we expected 10 years after devolution we would see our roads stomached all the way to to, to Garissa because mm. that is where in terms of uh, our region that's where the tarmac road ends mm. uh, you know uh, and, and that's where Kenya begins for us mm. so that is one of the misses that we have had but mm. gov the government now has a big plan funded by World Bank to do the Great North Highway yeah. which covers all the way to, to Mandera. We okay. hope that will be realized during okay. this, this um, period. I'm, I'm told that we have to stop there because okay. we also have to cross over to the Kiswahili service. But uh, DG, I promise to call you back next week so that we discuss matters devolution because devolution conference starts next week on 15th and this will be happening in, in Wasingishu. I want us to take a look at it holistically. What are some of the hits and misses of devolution 10 years on um, where we should fix some of the loose ends and probably, uh, you know, people like Mandela should also benefit even more. Uh, Nairobi is also benefiting from devolution. How about we say I'm leaving as Victor, I'm going to work in Mandela and I feel at home. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, gentlemen, we have to stop there. One hour is gone, just when you're having enough time, before <laughs> you could you. even start. Thank you so much. Deputy Governor, Machakos County, please say hi to the Governor. Oh. Say hi that Tunam Taraji Hapa. Asante. Asante Sana. <laughs> Abdul Haruko, member of Bandera South, Asante Sana, thank for you. coming to the show. And even you as a viewer, thank you so much for watching. We are taking a break, but when we come back, Zinga, we'll be having a discussion about Utafiti Kwa Sheria Kwa Sera Za Afia. Dora Manya will be having a discussion with Francis Kundu, who is the Senior Manager, Demography Kenya, KNBS, as well as Stanley Wamboa, Head of Gender Statistics, Kenya National Bureau of statistics. Asante sana for watching. Have a good morning. I'm Victor Olo. Thank you so much.